Stan Gibalisco here. Uh, I would like to explain for you uh, some characteristics of resistors, in particular how to calculate how much power a particular resistor is dissipating depending upon its value in ohms, its resistance in ohms R, the, and the voltage across it E in volts or the current through it I in amperes. The first thing is to note the formulas for power uh, in watts in terms of voltage in volts and resistance in ohms. The power in watts equals the square of the voltage in volts divided by the resistance in ohms. If you know the current through a resistor in amperes, you can square that and multiply by the resistance in ohms to get the power in watts. Remember Ohm's law, voltage equals current times resistance, voltage in volts equals current in amps times resistance in ohms, or current in amps equals voltage in volts divided by resistance in ohms. So, knowing all of this stuff, suppose, let, let's take a practical problem. Suppose that we have a resistor of 100 ohms and 3 volts appears across that resistor. We measure that voltage, it's 3 volts, a 100 ohm resistor. How much power is that resistor dissipating in a DC circuit, direct current circuit? Well, all we need to do is square the voltage in volts and divide by the resistance in ohms. That's 3 squared over 100 equals 9 over 100. We can change that to 90 over 1,000 watts. which is 90 milliwatts. Now most resistors in uh, common practice are rated at one quarter of a watt, that's 250 milliwatts, or one half a watt, that is 500 milliwatts. So we're safe with this. If we put three volts across a 100 ohm, one quarter watt resistor, we're all right. Now let's take another example. That same 100 ohm resistor Let's suppose we try to drive 100 milliamps through that resistor. Now remember, milliamps are thousandths of an amp, so what we have here is 100 one-thousandths of an amp, or a tenth of an amp. We square that, we get 1 one-hundredth of an ampere squared. We multiply by the resistance in ohms, and what we get is one full watt across that or through that resistor. That resistor will be called upon to dissipate one full watt. If it's a quarter watt or a half watt resistor, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. So uh, that's the way that you can do that. You can calculate and remember if you know the voltage across a resistor and you want to find out what the current is, you can use Ohm's law. Current in amps equals voltage in volts divided by resistance in ohms. So you can use either formula in either one of these cases. Uh, one of them indirect and one of them direct. Of course it's always easier to do it directly. But now let's say that we have that same 100 ohm resistor once again. And we want to know how much voltage, let's suppose that it's um, a robust resistor, it's rated at one full watt. How much current can we drive through this resistor and be safe? Well remember the power in watts equals the current in amps squared times the resistance in ohms. So we can use a little bit of algebra and manipulate this now. And we can come out with the current squared 
equals the power divided by the resistance. Okay, that's cool. So the current that, that we can safely put through here is equal to the square root of the power in watts divided by the resistance in ohms. That's the current in amps that we can safely run through here. Well, we know that this is 1 up here and that this is 100 down here. So it's the square root of 0 0.01 so, the current that we can safely the current that we can safely drive through this resistor, this one watt resistor, and not exceed its one watt rating, would be the square root of 0 0.01 or 0 0.1 amps, or yes, 0 0.1 amps, 100 milliamps. That's going to stretch it to the max, though. That's going to stretch it to the limit. Usually you want to include at least a 30% a, a or thereabouts engineering, over-engineering buffer. So you wouldn't want to run more than about 70 milliamps through here. All right. Let's say now we've got that same 1 watt resistor, 100 ohms. How much voltage can we safely put across this thing and not exceed that one watt? Well, remember, the power in watts equals the voltage squared, voltage in volts squared, divided by the resistance in ohms. So once again, we can do just a little bit of algebraic manipulation and find out that the square of the voltage equals P times R power in watts times resistance in ohms so the voltage equals the square root of the power in watts times the resistance in ohms well here we go one watt this is an easy bunch of numbers here one watt 100 ohms square root of 100 that's 10. 10 volts we can safely put across this thing. But again, if we want a 30% or thereabouts engineering uh, buffer, we probably wouldn't want to put more than about 7 volts across this thing. So that would be the answer there. That's the kind of thing you can do in a practical circuit. If you're going to build a circuit and you want to know whether or not your resistor is going to fry or broil or explode or burn or whatever, you can use these formulas. Or you can just watch my playlist called Resistor Inferno and get a few laughs when you find out what happens when we overwhelm a resistor with vastly more current or voltage than it's designed to handle. You can probably guess what's going to happen, but I did a bunch of experiments just to uh, do a few variations on that somewhat perverse theme. Stan Jabalisco from the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America. Until next time, so long.